Hi guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Skims for the first time. I have never tried any of Kim Kardashian's products before from her Skims line. I want to thank my mother-in-law for this video because she actually asked me if I've ever tried any of their products. And to be honest, I stopped wearing shapewear because I thought it was contributing to my GERD. Turns out that's not true. Um, <laughs> so I bought a couple of items. So if you wanna know my thoughts and opinions, just keep on watching. But before you swipe me away or click me on this video, please like, comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. I also realized that I am not wearing a colors that Kim would approve of for her nudeness loving self but it is easter this coming weekend i don't know when i'm gonna release this video so these bunny ears might not make sense at the time that you're watching and i love my new woman's best t-shirt it is in green and so anyway let's move on and i the box makes sense for kim's aesthetic this is upside down i didn't want to pull it out of the package this is how they sent it to me and so I'm kind of excited to try it and kind of not because I am used to just buying my undies from Victoria's Secret and I feel like Victoria's Secret's prices are a little expensive to me. And now if I fall in love with skims, I'm gonna be paying way more. So Victoria's Secret always has sales where it's like five for 28. I think that was seven for 28, five for 25, long time ago. Cause now I think they're like five for 32, uh, inflation. <laughs> so I got three of the fresh cut cheeky hipster in clay, blue steel and cocoa. Um, I got a seamless sculpting mid waist brief in onyx and I got the small medium, the underwear I got small, uh, in medium. And it, then I got the Fits Everybody Scoop Neck Bralette in Sienna and also in a medium. So let's go ahead, open up this package. This is cute, just a bunch of booties. And this is how they come. And then I believe this is the shape wear. So as I was saying, I used to waist train with an actual corset. And then on days that I wasn't waist training, I would wear um, the shapewear to help me give my figure. However, um, as I got older, I started getting acid reflux, which I didn't think was actually reflux, but it actually is. And so I stopped wearing that stuff because I thought I possibly had a huge hiatal hernia, but turns out I have a small hiatal hernia, not big enough for what I expected. So anyway, enough of rambling of that. Lo and behold, I feel comfortable wearing shapewear again. And my mother-in-law had actually asked me because she said, oh, I'm getting older, you know, I would like to try this shapewear. So I wanted to try it out, see if it was worth it, and then buy her a couple of items. So let's go in with the undies. So I am very big on seamless and, ooh, okay. So, <laughs> you guys, I, should I get a small? Um, I'm a little shocked at how big these are. Hold on. All right, so I know my measurements because I'm on my fitness journey. And I am uh, 36 and a half right now with a 30, 31 weight, 30.5 waist. And then my bottom is a 41. So due to that, I got the mediums because their size chart said so, but these look huge, 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 huge compared to my Victoria's Secret ones. And because of um, licensing reasons and not wanting to get um, my YouTube career failing before it even started, I cannot show them to you. But I'm gonna go try them on real quick and I'll be back and let you know what I think. Okay, I'm back with some size comparisons. So, I and Victoria's Secret actually wear a small. I did get them to compare. So these are my own Victoria's Secret ones. And these are the skim ones. And when you kind of put them together, you can see how much of a difference like they are, <laughs> how much bigger the other ones are. So because of that, I was a little freaked out when I saw the tag or like how big it was for a medium. 
I don't know why I thought I wore a medium in Victoria's Secret. Probably because I used to wear an extra small and then I, of course I gained all this weight. So now I wear a small, but when I was looking at Kim's um, size chart, it recommended a medium. And then since I can't go to a store and feel it for myself, I did go ahead and just order online what they recommended. So I thought that the sizes were going to run small, so I didn't want to get a small, but they're pretty. So I'm feeling them compared to the Victoria's Secret. Mind you, these are worn for a while. So I don't feel like they are like they are definitely softer but these are new and these have been washed many times um so I do like that it's seamless and so is the Victoria's Secret one so to be honest it is not worth it for me to switch from what I'm paying these were three for crap what did I they were three for 32 where I get like five for 32. So you get like two more for the same price. I want to say they were $12 each and that was on sale because I think they're normally $18 each, which is not worth it to me. Oh my God, have you ever shopped for a man? Guys, underwear is ridiculously expensive. But anyway, these are pretty, they are seamless. They do fit um, the medium, so I won't be exchanging them, thank God, because I don't got time for all that drama. Um, but will I be switching from Skims to Victoria's Secret from Vic the other way around? No, um, I don't think so. Okay, next is the little bralette, which feels like the same material. And I also don't know if I could try this on without getting in trouble from YouTube. Probably won't even notice because it's not like I'm famous. But I just don't want to risk it. So here is the scoop neck bra. And I used to be somebody who used to just be able to chill in a sports bra under a t-shirt. Not anymore. It's just not comfortable. I don't know if it's getting old, like getting older. But I also don't want my breast to sag in a couple years. So I decided to get one of these to try it out. There is another company that makes something similar that I wanted to try. And I didn't this one oh, you guys prices they suck i suck at this um so i really like the material on it it does have adjustable straps which usually i would prefer not to if this is like a no underwire bra that i want to wear underneath but that's okay it looks like it's going to be super comfy. All right, last thing, and I will try this on and show you underneath my sweats what I think about this. Um, so this one is Seamless Sculpting Mid-Waist Brief Onyx. Okay, so why I got briefs was because I didn't, I like the short ones better, but if I'm gonna wear them at work and I wear joggers at work, it's just not going to work. And I was hoping this was seamless, which it looks like it kind of is. Oh my God. I wish I would have got the one with the little booty. You know what I'm talking about? The like have long legs and like the booty is like so squished because it just looks so funny. But I'm going to try this on. Oh, there is this elastic waist, not elastic. Oh my God. This, I want to say it's silicone. I'm not 100% sure. It does look super super tiny like this could be a baby's um little outfit where their diaper goes um but it is so that it doesn't roll so oh it's kind of sticky and we'll try actually let's just try both on and then i'll let you know what i think did you miss me okay i'm back i tried that bra on and I definitely do feel like it's comfortable. I didn't actually play with the straps of it. Um, I also like not feeling the most comfortable in my body to just wear it by itself without anything because there's still a lot of chubbiness under here that we got to get rid of. But let's talk about these Onyx pants real quick. Okay, so this shape 
gives me granny panty galore and I can't really bring it down to show you. However, I'm not really the biggest fan of this. Even with this, and mind you guys, my body is a little weird. I am like an hourglass, but my hourglass doesn't cut at my hips. It cuts at my waist, if that makes sense. Like, let me see if I can back up and show you. So, I have a very short torso, so this cuts weird angle and I don't have a long torso so this definitely rolls down <laughs> I don't know how else to show you without getting in trouble with YouTube but I don't like this this is supposed to prevent it from rolling down but it rolls in and on itself however I am, well, I shouldn't say I'm five foot two, and that's why, because I believe Kim is five foot two, but our bodies are definitely shaped different. So, um, obviously I'm gonna keep them. Wearing them again, like, sorry, not wearing them again. Obviously I'm gonna wear them again because I bought them, but buying them again, I don't know. Let me show you the ones that I have that were super cheap that I think I got at Target that I actually do like. Okay, I think these are from Target. I'm not sure. And of course the little name is gone. There is no like elastic on there. And these are short, so they're different. But I just feel like I like these a little bit better than that the one I'm wearing. Um, so I don't know. These also, I don't believe, go up as high. So, who knows. But this definitely is a lot tighter than these are. So this, I mean, I guess you're trying to accomplish the same goal, right? Is to look thinner, smoother. <laughs> not so like the bread basket at uh, Olive Garden. So uh, I guess they do achieve the same thing. Let me put these on underneath my sweats and we'll give a comparison. All right, since these are shorts, I didn't bother putting my sweats back on, but these don't come up nearly as high. The skims one on me was like up here and so it kept rolling down at my back crease and this one doesn't so it doesn't go that high so there's no reason for it to roll so to be honest this one is not as compressing so you're probably not gonna get you know that smoothed out buttery look under your dress if that's what you were going for. To be honest, I just wear these under a dress because it's shaping. Those skim ones, <laughs> I'm pointing over there like you know where I'm pointing. <laughs> anyway, those skim ones definitely give me granny panty vibes. I should have known that when I purchased them um, just because of the shape. So I'm glad that they're kind of seamless so I don't think you can tell that I'm wearing them if I wore them to work. But at the same time, I don't think I would wear them to work because they are much more compressing than these. And I used to wear these to work all the time. But the constant rolling, done deal for me. I, I can't, I don't like to fiddle with things. Like if I do my makeup, I'm not the girl that takes the makeup with her. I'm not the one that likes to reapply her makeup all the time. So anything that's gonna be just a nuisance to me throughout the day, I'm not gonna wanna wear. So in regards to skims, will I purchase this stuff again? I do like the bralette, but I feel like there's so many other companies out there that are less expensive that would to make the same thing. I do like the underwear, but they feel so much similar to Victoria's Secret. I just feel like if I continue to buy in Victoria's Secret, I'll just be saving myself some money. Um, that compression thing. So the shapewear, I will definitely side with Kim on the 
fact that she has made so many different types of shapewear for different types of clothing, which I think is genius because she has the whole slit thing. I saw she has some stuff for maternity. So definitely I think I would purchase more shapewear for her depending on like what I was wearing it for since she offers a lot more of a variety of types of things. Other than that, I mean, the material is soft. Everything feels great. Everything is soft, but it's not enough for me to want to make that switch, make that commitment and pay a little bit more money to, unless we're talking about shapewear. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know when this video is going up, so remember, wearing these for Easter. Happy Easter to you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.